It's finally happened. It's been years in the making, but this species I've been wanting since I was a child just got delivered in the mail. So let's unbox it and get it set up. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and today I've got a very special unboxing video. Before we unbox this amazing species, I need to finish setting up their enclosure. I've already set up the backdrop. I did that off camera. I didn't really think it was something that you all would be interested in seeing, but after posting some pictures on Instagram and reading your all's comments, I think I'm gonna have to do a video where I show you how I make my backgrounds. Luckily, I'm about to rehouse both my day gecko and my ball python. They're going into new enclosures and I'm gonna have to build an entire background and they're gonna be different types of backgrounds. So I'll be sure to record those projects and make them into separate videos, just kind of a do-it-yourself how-to video on making backgrounds, I guess. But I got three boxes here from Houston Frogs with all kinds of substrates and plants and I mean, everything that I need. So uh, let's, let's just jump right into getting this stuff unboxed and setting up this enclosure. <laughs> I'm very excited. Now this first box, I'm assuming is just gonna be the substrate, so uh, we'll check that out real quick. Oh yeah, definitely looks like some substrate. And don't make fun of the way I say substrate. Uh, just did a podcast with Tarantula Cat. I'll link at the end of this video if you want to check it out. But we had a, we had a great conversation. But she was she made fun of me quite a bit for uh, saying substrate instead of substrate. Uh, but anyways, I I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to uh, to read this. This is like the barrier netting stuff for uh, bioactive. There's a bunch of little vials with stuff in them. Oh, they're little tiny dart frogs. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Bunch of deli cups. Um, straw stuff, I guess. Ah, it's all for fruit fly media, for fruit fly cultures. Some ABG substrate, great stuff. Some heavy duty substrate, right? Oh, I just made a mess. It's a little open. More of the same. Even more substrate. Ooh, I don't know. We'll put that off the side because we've got even more substrate. This is the ABG. It stands for Atlanta Botanical Garden Substrate. Uh, it's It's got a whole bunch of like peat moss and orchid bark, sphagnum moss, charcoal. I mean, it's it's pretty standard, uh, pretty standard bioactive substrate. Uh, we got some dried leaves. Oh man, so many hydro balls. More hydro balls. This is calcined clay, the secondary drainage layer. More. Let's see, we've got Necton Rep Calcium plus D3 and Necton Multi Rep. Oh man, I just bought some of this stuff as well in preparation, but thank you so much for sending that out. Lids for the uh, deli cups. Now, I wonder what's in these. Oh wow. <laughs> They're a whole bunch of uh, little 3D printed. That looks like uh, alien skulls. I don't know. I'll have to pull out the macro camera and really show these off to you. That's a dinosaur skull. Ooh, a whole bunch of little tiny skulls. Look at those guys. Those are cool. Oh, that's a that's a pretty big skull. That's cool. I like that. There's there's so many cool skulls. I feel like they know me. I love my skulls. See what we got in here. Calcium clay bath. All right, let's move on to the next box. First, I gotta do something with these skulls. All right, box number two. I'm not really sure. Maybe this is the plants? Let's see. Man, they really take this one off. 
Ooh. What is this? Insulation. I will say this, they definitely packed this up really well. All right. I don't even know what this is. It's like, I don't know. Cardboard and paper or something. This is fascinating. I have no idea what this could be. Ha! What a let down. It's a, it's a nice pack. Now this. This is awesome. These are like cool little plants. My Cody's Patola. I mean, I'm not a, a dart frog guy, so I don't even know if I am gonna say all of these right. But, I mean, there's, ooh, this one's cool. The Dissa uh, Discolor. That's awesome. And they're sealed up, they're almost like vacuum sealed in these bags. I don't know if vacuum sealed is the right word, but I've never seen plants ship this way, but they look healthy and happy, plenty of moisture. Begonia Iron Cross, that just that just sounds cool. That is, uh, there's some amazing plants. That's gonna be the first thing, we, like I've got the enclosure built, but I gotta lay down this substrate. I gotta get these plants in there before I even think about putting the dart frogs in. Also I have a misting system that still needs installed. Let's open up this last box, see what we're dealing with. And it is, covered in stickers. They protect from heat, live animals. You definitely let everybody know to be careful. <laughs> I'm sure I've mentioned it a few times by now, but this came from Houston Frogs. And if you've never heard of them, I'll tell you a little bit about them right now. HoustonFrogs.com is a dart frog and bioactive supply company. They have food, supplies, information, and support to ensure the survival and well-being of your dart frog. They also provide the best dart frog warranty in the industry. Check out HoustonFrogs.com. Use the code TTC10OFF to save 10% off your order and a free nano dart frog. I'm sure that works great for insulating and protecting frogs during shipment. Um, but man, it's, it's made a mess. Ambient temperature stabilizer. Put in a lot of effort to make sure that these frogs remained at an optimal temperature through the shipping process. This is kind of like an emergency blanket. So that is a fruit fly culture. Another fruit fly culture. Some more plants. Ooh, that looks like some kind of creeping fern. I got some dwarf isopods, some temperate springtails, and the Costa Rican aratus. I know I need to get this enclosure set the rest of the way up, but I really just want to take a peek. These are gorgeous. They're a, a little more blue than green. I was expecting more of like a tarantula collective green, but you know, maybe that'll it will change when I get them under some different light. They're beautiful. They're amazing. So thank you so much, Houston Frogs. I don't want to screw this up. I've been waiting decades to get dart frogs. So uh, I, I decided on an 18 by 18 by 18 enclosure. In fact, I had to do a lot of searching. I had to drive a couple hours to pick this one up. I went to uh, Morgantown, West Virginia to Exotic Jungle Pet Superstore. They're really great, very helpful, and they had this very specific enclosure I was looking for. It's 18 by 18 by 18, made by Exoterra. It's their frog and company line. And this is made specifically for dart frogs. Uh, it's not sponsored. I paid full retail for that, for this enclosure. Uh, Exoterra did not provide it, so this is not advertising for them. Uh, this is my first time using their dart frog enclosure, but it's got a drain built into the bottom you know, because they require such high humidity. This gives you the ability to kind of drain that out. Also, it's a special lid, but we'll talk all about that later. I've already got the background set up. It's been set up for a few days. It's cured. Everything's fine. I just got to get the bioactive substrate all set up and uh, get all the plants moved in and then hopefully we can move in the frogs. We'll, we'll see where it is uh, and may have to wait a few days, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. First, 
let's get some substrate done. All right, so I've got all the clay balls. I could rinse them off. I know last time I did a bioactive setup, people freaked out because they didn't think I rinsed the balls off. And I may not have, I don't know. But <laughs> this time I made sure to do it. I don't know if I'm gonna need all of them, but um, I got the drain locked in. I've already checked to make sure that it's watertight. So I, I, I think we're ready to do this. Let's, uh, let's dump these balls in. So now it's time for the ABG substrate. I started you know, setting this up again, I realized I wasn't recording. So pretty much all I did though was I just added a couple little hides in there. Uh, this little coconut shells. All right, first plant's in. I got a lot more to go. So let's, uh, let's do a little bit of a time lapse and speed this sucker up. Now, before we get the dart frogs moved in, I need to get them over on their stand and get this misting system hooked up. Right now, I'm using the Exoterra Monsoon 2 misting system because I'm mostly focused on this enclosure, but I'm probably gonna use that same misting system since it can do multiple enclosures for my day gecko enclosure once I get that set up. I am hot and sweaty and dirty, but it's time to move these dart frogs into their new enclosure. So let's check them out. A huge thanks to Houston Frogs for these Dendrobates erratus or the Costa Rican, uh, I don't know, dart poison dart frogs, green dart frogs. They're awesome. They really are kind of sporting the uh, tarantula collective colors, so I'm, I'm really digging it. This is gonna bring me years of enjoyment and entertainment. And you guys should definitely keep an eye out for some more poison dart frog videos in the future, because 
Uh, they're very photogenic and I really enjoy this. So <laughs> definitely gonna have to do some more. I'll keep you updated on the enclosure. If you wanna see some more videos about scorpions and reptiles and, and things that aren't tarantulas, I will uh, link that right here. And if you wanna check out my latest video, that one's right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Like this video if you like poison dart frogs and I will see you next time. <laughs>